Hey guys, it's David here, and it's Monday, so you know what that means. Based on my t-shirt, it is Marvel Monday! Yeah! We made it through a whole week of this. It's amazing. So, in celebration, we're taking a look back at some of the, uh, the very first uh, Marvel toys ever made, um, as well as... Uh, Mainly focusing on toy lines of the 90s, a little bit of the 80s, some of the uh, Secret War figures. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, give an idea, a little bit of what we're covering today. Of course, all these things are for sale, every single thing here. Um, we encourage it, that keeps us afloat, keeps us in business. So please, uh, everything has a price on it. Uh, if I don't mention the price and you don't see the price, Ask me the price. <laughs> uh, but anyway, let's flip the camera over. We're going to... You'll see that um, these all have a very similar package design. Uh, they're known as the gray cards. Uh, these were the very first... Um, actually, in, in many cases, uh, the very first time that these characters uh, had a toy, uh, well, at least had a toy through Toy Biz. I mean, there were older Marvel figures like the Mego line, um, but these these were all roughly $5 figures that came out um, back in the early 90s, and I think probably the oldest one here probably is the uh, Dr. Octopus and the Punisher, because uh, you notice they didn't have their own line, like it didn't say Spider-Man, Fantastic Four, Venom. Uh, it just said Marvel Superheroes. Um, and this was not based on any animated series. It was just based basically on kind of like the generic uh, version that we had from, uh, from the comic book series. Um, but they were very cool figures. Uh, and they got better and better as they went. Um, more articulation later down the line, but they all had, this is what I love, they all had these, um, gimmicks, right? <laughs> so, Doc Octopus here, he had suction cup, um, and grasping tentacles. Um, now you can see the Punisher figure here, he had a really big back because he had kept firing weapons. Uh, so it would be like, snap, 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 snap. Kind of like the Kenner uh, Robocop line that came out um, a couple of years before that. So these were pretty gimmicky figures, but very cool. I think a lot of nostalgia behind them. Um, and so we'll jump in here. Anyway, they're not very expensive, which is why I was bringing them to your attention. Because I recommend people, especially collectors, jumping on these now. Um, and you'll see in a minute why. Uh, so right now you can get this Oc Dr. Octopus for 10 bucks. Uh, you can get this Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man figure for 15 Fantastic Four, uh, Human Torch for $15. Uh, this Daredevil here for 10 Uh, Mr. Punisher over here for 15 And it looks like, yeah, this... This one's the most expensive one, but it's, it's not that expensive. It's only $20. So if you look at, say, the um, maybe the Mego line or the Super Powers figures from the 80s, um, these are pretty cheap. So uh, my thoughts are, let's go over to the Marvel wall. Um, right now, I, I think this is the only um, uh, figures that we didn't cover from Marvel Legends. Because uh, I actually forgot about it. Well, <laughs> if you look at it, this is a Marvel Legends. And down here is the original Toy Biz figure. And they're basically ripping off the packaging. Because they know there's that nostalgia there for all the collectors that want to have this figure. Um, but they want, you know, the 6-inch, more highly articulated version um, of Captain America. But they want the nostalgia of, you know, the original... Toy Biz figure like that one. So, kind of a clever thing that they did. Uh, so, I'll just, I'll just, for the guys that missed out on the first Marvel Monday, uh, you saw all the other uh, Toy Biz figures, but you didn't see these guys. So, let's just flip through them really quick. Uh, Captain America, Black Panther, Black Widow, really nice looking Black Widow figure. 
You know, her movie's coming up soon, so jump on that figure if you don't already have it. And then that's Dazzler. And, you know, she has... She doesn't have uh, the gray card with the stars. She has a card that uh, is very nostalgic of the old X-Men line, which we'll look at in a little bit. So that's original Toy Biz. That's the new uh, Hasbro Marvel Legends. So you can see the nostalgia there. Um, so let's jump in here. Uh, we'll look at these gray card figures. Uh, and like I said, they're not that expensive. Uh, you can get this Captain America figure here for 20 bucks. Uh, versus the, uh, I believe it was $25, um, retro line figure. So they're basically not too expensive. And some of these, like you saw, are only $10. Uh, let's see what else we got. So from the original Marvel gray cards, we got, uh, Doctor Doom. Uh, we got Daredevil. Now, sadly, it's that, uh, Daredevil that has the black uniform. It's a bit less popular. Uh, and then we got Venom. Now, this one, there's a lot of different Venoms, a lot of different Spider-Man figures. This one is the Alien Liquid Venom, uh, with, he squirts out his chest. And then we have, we get into the Fantastic, Fantastic Four line. We got, uh, Pulverizing Punch Thing with the Yancey Street, uh, <laughs> sign. We got, uh... Mr. Fantastic that actually stretches. Uh, that's one figure that's going to be kind of hard to find in good condition because a lot of times kids would stretch this thing beyond uh, what they should have. But like I said, right now you can get this figure for $15. This one's only $15. An original 90s Fantastic Four figure. Uh, an original Invisible Woman. Uh, she has this invisible catapult that she comes with. And then Annihilus, who's, he's only $10, I don't know why, but he's only $10. We, we have a good deal on these. So what I'm saying is pick these up right now. You're going to regret it if you do not because they will be gone. Uh, let's jump over here and look at some of these Spider-Man uh, gray card Toy Biz figures. Uh, this one's a little bit more pricey, and I think I understand why. Um... Now, I believe this is the very first time you saw Todd McFarlane artwork on a, a toy card. Uh, he did the package art. The figure itself doesn't really look like it's McFarlane Spider-Man, but uh, that's probably why it's $30 versus the other figures, which are less. That one's only uh, $15, but doesn't look... I think that might be Eric Larson who drew the Spider-Man on that one, but... Anyway, that's just speculation. <laughs> that one's $15. That one was a real web climbing action Spider-Man. That's a real web shooting action. So Spider-Man was very popular, and they were trying to come up with lots of ways to make a Spider-Man figure. Uh, now, this one is actually the original uh, Marvel superheroes Spider-Man figure with the web suction hands. Um, and that one's oh, it's only $15. Yeah, I don't know. I would think it would be more expensive, but it's only fifteen dollars. Uh, this one is the multi-jointed uh, Spider-Man, and uh, that one they got. You can see they they got more advanced with the figures by then. Uh, this one was very limited posability, and then they got into ones that were multi-jointed. Uh, very cool. They they got more advanced. So that that was the early nineties. This one. Let's see what year it was. Uh, looks like it was, well, 1992, so, I mean, it's still pretty old. Um, the other one, I think, was like 90, yeah, this one was like 1990. So, two years later, they went from this to that. Pretty cool. Okay, anyway, uh, moving on, then we got into characters here like Deathlock, um, who is not very expensive because I don't think people really care about Deathlock that much, I'm sorry. So he's only $10. That's that's a good deal. Uh, oh, we got Thor. Now, it's Thor is really, really cool. So that's that's another fairly old figure. Thor with his smashing hammer action. Uh, that guy is uh, $20. Uh, we have a Venom with the living skin slime pores. Um, 
Yeah, I guess that's kind of similar. He probably shoots out of his chest again, uh, like that other one. Um, but uh, yeah, that's. Let me see. Yeah, squirting alien liquid. It you know it's very similar, but it's like the the collectors really know this stuff. So, what's the difference between this venom and that venom? This one has like a red little container. This one has a black one that kind of hides on his back. Um, it's probably different liquid in there. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if it comes with a liquid, but anyway. So that's a the artwork is about the same. The name of the figure is different. Living skin slime pores squirting alien liquid. Okay. Anyway, just to clear that up, two different venoms. I don't think we have any duplicates here at all, even though a lot of them look very much the same. Um, okay, we got Green Goblin, who throws pumpkin bombs. That guy's just $15. And then we have, this is, yeah, believe it or not, it's a different Punisher than the one we already showed you. Uh, it looks very much the same, but if you notice, this one is missing one gun in that corner. Um, and the face is a bit different. This is another cat-firing weapon uh, Punisher, but it's not the same one I showed you over there. That one's $15, and then, yeah, you can tell the difference with this one. He's got all four guns. Uh, it says the Punisher up there instead of Marvel superheroes in big, and this one is the real machine gun sounds Punisher. So, you know, different, I guess. <laughs> we have three very different uh, different Punishers. Okay, moving right, right along here. Um, I think I showed you everything over here. Yeah, we got Fantastic Four down. I'm making a mess of the store by doing this video, but it's well worth it. Okay, so now we're going to move from original uh, gray-carded Toy Biz into X-Men. Uh, X-Men came out just a little bit later, and these figures were tied into the X-Men animated series, even though it didn't really say it on the package. Spider-Man came out after that, and it was very clearly noted that it, it's a Spider-Man animated series, because it says it right there. This one originally didn't say anything about the animated series. Later, they put stickers on the bottom that said, hey, part of the animated series. Let's start with Wolverine. He's everyone's favorite. Uh, this is the first Wolverine that came out. Uh, he has a mask ring, <laughs> which is like a really cheesy effect. But you can take his mask, either put it on his head or put it, wear it on your finger. Yeah, you could wear his mask on your finger. And it's the very first... Wolverine that came out, uh, I believe it's 1993. Yep. Uh, it's $20. A really good deal for something in like near perfect condition. Um, then moving down the line, we got the third edition. Uh, yeah, I wish I had all the editions here, but we don't have everything. Third edition Wolverine, Savage Strike Action. Uh, totally different figure. Uh, this one, you know, swipes. Uh, and then the fifth edition has a thrusting knife action. So this one had really big uh, weapons. Like like Wolverine even needs a weapon. Um, but this one's very popular. So only $18, though. Uh, then let's get into some of the bad guys. We have Apocalypse here. This is a pretty popular one. Um, $20. He also has a gimmick. He extends his body. Okay, I'll, I'll get to uh, X-Force in a minute, so let's skip that. Uh, now we have a couple different um, Archangels here. Um, I don't think they made a regular Angel. They just jumped, because in the animated series, Archangel came up pretty quick. Uh, so the, yeah, these are actually two different Archangels. This one has a special edition card. That one does two, but it advertises the video release. Uh, that one has a punch hole. This one has a hanger. Um, but otherwise, very similar. Uh, 15 bucks each. That's actually a really good deal on that. Um, oh, that's a really good deal on Iceman. Only $12. Anytime we have this stuff priced, it's usually at least like 5 bucks or more cheaper than what you can find online. Um, okay, here's Forge. He's $10. Uh, there we have Brood who is basically a knockoff of the Xenomorph <laughs> from Aliens. Uh, he's just $10 despite his big size. 
Uh, oh, and Omega Red. That's a very rare one to find and very popular. That one is $30. So that's probably the most expensive X-Men Toy Biz figure we have right now. Uh, and then Mr. Sinister is $20. These are all very cool. Uh, and I'll move here to the left. We got Pr Professor Xavier. This one is very hard to find on the card because normally he is so big and heavy. With his chair, he just falls right off that card, but this one is still really firmly attached. Uh, and then same thing with Colossus. Yeah, Colossus. Colossus, he's a big heavy figure too. Uh, only $18, power lift action. He's a great one to find. And the Beast is one of my favorites. Uh, he's got flipping power. <laughs> He is $20, um, and then we have a couple Rogue figures. Now, you think they're the same? No. Uh, we have the original Rogue. You could have gotten a t-shirt offer with her back in 1994. It's now $12, this figure. Not bad. Or you can go back, uh, well, more recent version. They had a completely different card. Uh, all the cards were the same, and it wasn't tied into the animated series anymore. This Rogue is only $7 from 1996. Cool. I think that's about it. All right. And let's go up here. We got uh, Juggernaut. I mean, people love Juggernaut. That's not a great figure, but they were kind of limited on size, what they could do with it. Uh, so we got this Juggernaut figure, and then, of course, Gambit, who we all love down there uh oh an another archangel i didn't see that one all right maybe we have more than one right now uh oh and then here this is pretty cool we're getting to cyclops now so cyclops i mean they had different cyclopses but they didn't number them like they did with the wolverines this is your first cyclops where he doesn't look anything really like the animated series he's got that big he looks like the package design though yes and he's got that big white X across his body. Uh, the next one, it's really the exact same figure, but they took off uh, the X. And they kind of uh, changed his body up a little bit to give him a belt. So the yellow and blue outfit is what he had on the show. So they were going a little bit closer to the show look. But not quite close enough. Because then they did this third version that looks just like the show. And this one's a completely different figure. Uh, it's got that really cool uh, yellow kind of um, sash, I guess, with the X's on it. Um, you know, you can see his hair, which I like. So this, this is everyone's favorite Cyclops. Uh, that's why he is $30 as opposed to the other ones that are like $16 each. Uh, this guy is $30 because he is the most popular Cyclops that came uh, based on the animated series. So there's a reason for it. Okay. Uh, then we got into, this was a spin-off line called the Phoenix Saga, uh, which was kind of cool if you watched the animated series. It had all new characters like Gladiator here. Uh, it had um, Jean Grey uh, was now, now Phoenix. Um, and she had some crazy light-up features in her eyes and her hair. Um, and so, yeah, that one's 15. She's only 12. Not a bad deal. Um, okay. And let me see. What did I not cover? Okay. Then we move into X Force. So X Force is not nearly as popular. The figure back at Toy Biz originally, uh, Toy Biz originally uh, sold it around eight dollars at KB Toys. Uh, we've lowered the price down to five dollars. <laughs> so, yeah, these are not nearly as popular. Uh, figure so that that first one was uh black black tom then there's strife uh, well, okay he's he's a little bit more he's like fifteen dollars um you got gw over here who is ten dollars uh you got kill spree uh yeah he's like five dollars 
Uh, you got um, Gideon, who, yeah, we'll go with that original Toys R Us price there of four ninety nine, <laughs> um, And Cannonball, I like Cannonball, but we still have him at just $5, so hey. Uh, Kane is 5 bucks, and who else do we have? We have Warpath. Okay, that one's a little bit more. That one's 10 And then who do we have in the back but Shatterstar? If you guys saw the uh, the Deadpool movie, uh, then you know Shatterstar. Uh, he's kind of a prick. Um, well, people don't like him that much, I guess. Ooh, Shatterstar just caused a problem with our live stream. Okay. Uh, but yeah, Shatterstar is just $10. So and we've got three of him, apparently. Yeah. Got a lot of Shatterstar. Okay. Uh, another cool thing. Okay, so I think we covered... Well, we roughly covered X-Men. Uh, there were a lot of other things going on. Oh, I, sorry. I didn't finish with X-Force. So what I was saying is none of these guys really are that popular or worth that much money except for for Mr. Deadpool here. So, um, but even he is only $20, and uh, there were a bunch of different Deadpool, because even back then, he was popular. This is before the movie or anything else, but he was always a very popular character. So uh, he has a couple different versions. One has the mask on. This one has the mask off. Um, but yeah, Deadpool. We Oh, we have two of him. Okay. That one's 20, that one's 30. Okay, I'm gonna buy the one you like. Um, okay, moving down the line, uh, we're gonna go back here uh, to some of the other X-Men toys. Uh, we've got like a little signal flashlight here for $10. Um, and then we get into the uh, Steel Mutant line, which I always liked. Uh, these are like smaller figures, but you know, less articulated, but they're metal. Uh, coming cool packages. We got uh, Juggernaut versus Cyclops. We got Spy Wolverine versus Omega Red. Um, and we got yeah, two two of those. So, okay, that's all we got. Not much, but uh, yeah, these are only ten dollars each for two two figures. Not bad. Um, okay, going back here, let's check in with Spider Man. Spider-Man was, um, I, I did skip something here, and you guys might be upset with me. There, there are, There's a whole line of these talking figures. Uh, they came with these little boxes that were a lot, kind of big for the figure. See, actually still work. That's kind of awesome. <laughs> um, so we got Hulk. $15 is a really good price because they cost originally around $10. Just that voice feature box was was pretty pricey at the time. Um, we got almost a complete collection of those. So let's move to Spider-Man. This is the animated series uh, created basically by my, my really good friend, John Semper Jr., uh, who got the carte blanche from Stan Lee himself to do whatever he wants with Spider-Man as an animated series back in the 90s. And we got some really cool figures based on the, uh, the animation. Uh, first off, Spider-Man, there's a whole bunch of different Spider-Man figures. Um, and then John Semper Jr. actually did basically create the Spider-Verse. So all these figures, uh, that's why you have so many different Spider-Man figures. Uh, so web parachute action Spider-Man is twelve dollars. You've got uh, this is the first time you've seen this guy. He was based actually off a comic book that came out at the time. It's a super web shield. That was sixteen dollars. Um, you've got web shooter with web projectile Spider-Man for twenty dollars. We've got 
this one's a little pricey again because he's super posable and he's super posable spider-man for thirty dollars and then the Rhino, this guy, I remember when he came out, he was the hardest figure to find, and he always fell off that card. He's only $12, but when he came out, he was so hard to find. People were paying like $30, $40 for him at the time. Uh, and then we got uh, Smee, Smee, which no one really likes uh, that, that much. He's $15. Um, and then this is a really uh, hot, hard to find figure. This was a little bit later in the line. It's got a bigger card. Uh, and he could he's chameleon so he can change into all these different characters including Jonah Jameson which is really awesome he's 20 bucks at our store um, and venom that's a really popular and hard to find figure that's actually that's venom 2 there was a venom one but venom 2 is thirty dollars because uh, it's the first time you see uh, Brock's face i believe under the venom mask as a toy so that's that's pretty cool um and then again another leader in the line figure now this one is not super expensive uh but still pretty popular is black cat 15 dollars and then there's a web for spider-man daredevil now daredevil was one of those characters who didn't get his own animated series back in the day in the 90s uh but uh john put him on Anyway, on the Spider-Man show, and a lot of other characters, too. Uh, but since he didn't get his own animated series, he's only $10, and I'm pretty sure that's pretty close to what it cost when it came out, about $10, because it was one of those deluxe figures. Um, okay, now we got the Green uh, Goblin Attack here for $20. Uh, we got... Uh, this, this guy is definitely going up in price, Vulture. And you can see a lot more articulation, a lot more posability with the arms. Uh, so he's $18. Uh, we got Shocker for $20. And then we got uh, Lizard. He's a very popular one uh, with that Lashing Tail action, $20. And Kingpin, he's a very big guy. Uh, he is only $18, though, and behind him, oh, actually, yeah, actually, that was the last one, okay, uh, and then the same thing with the X-Men series, there's also Metal Diecast Collection here, uh, that one's $15, you get Spider-Man and Carnage, not too bad, okay, so I think we covered a lot, uh, we didn't cover everything, because there was more 90s Marvel animation series. Uh, they actually had both Iron Man and Fantastic Four come out at the same time, and they called it the Marvel Action Hour. So they made uh, these figures, uh, but they also did an exclusive for uh, Walmart at the time, and they gave you both one Fantastic Four and one Iron Man figure together. So you'd collect them both. And the first one here is Mr. Fantastic and Iron Man hydro armor and then you got silver surfer and mandarin and then you got a uh, thing and war machine and i can't believe the prices we have on this because you get both figures for 15 dollars normally that's the price of one of these guys but you know we go by market prices and right now these are cheap as really cheap um but like you can see uh, individually, here's Iron Man. Uh, he is twenty dollars by himself. Is it, it was kind of cool these figures because you could actually um, snap the armor onto the figure, and then the villains were not nearly as cool. <laughs> like Backlash, he's fifteen dollars, but they did come with these cool cards at least, so you got like information on the character there. Um, and then there's Mandarin, also $15, and you got Grey Gargoyle, that's $10, and then in the back, she was kind of a hard figure to find, is Spider-Woman. I don't know what she had to do with Iron Man, but she is now only $10, <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess she was on the show, so makes sense. Um, okay, and then moving to the right, we got Fantastic Four. Uh, that's The Thing. We got Doctor Doom. 
Uh, these are all $15 each, and we got Mr. Fantastic. Okay, yeah, the way you, Jackman. Okay. All right, we got Mr. Fantastic. We got um, Invisible Woman, and we got, uh, oh, one of the villains here, Terax. Now, he's actually on sale for $10. Not too bad. The rest of these guys are 15 Okay. And what are we missing? What have I not covered? There's a lot, actually, here. Uh, I'm sorry I'm not covering everything, but uh, they made giant size figures, too. So here we have um, giant size Sabretooth, Cyclops, and Rogue. Uh, it's basically the same exact figure. I mean, it feels like they took the same exact mold and just scaled it up. Um... So it looks like these are $15 each, at least for Rogue. Let's see how much Spider-Man is. Spider-Man, uh, I think this one's $20, probably. Uh, and then here's Maximum Carnage. So the first time you got a Carnage figure, Deluxe Carnage figure. I believe he is 25 Okay. Um, and then going on up, we're going to get something even older, Marvel Secret Wars. Uh, that was kind of a ridiculous vehicle at the time, but it's the Doom Roller. Uh, completely sealed, never opened, completely, uh, um, really great condition box, no damage really at all. Uh, $85. Uh, the only Secret Wars item we have right now, and then there's a Spider-Man cookie, uh, Cyril with a bank up there that I believe is ten dollars. Uh, that's some of the older stuff uh, before Marvel Legends that we're gonna cover, that we're, we're covering now. So I think we covered pretty much everything. Um, oh yeah, I didn't cover a couple things here. All right, we've got. There was a Ghost Rider <laughs> line too. Now, we don't have Ghost Rider. Uh, we got some guy named Outcast. He is $5. We have, it looks like, two of him. You know, not bad, but not great, because no one really likes Outcast. Um, but $5, you can't go wrong. Um, and any questions for me as I uh, stumble through this? Um, just looking to see if there's anything else we missed. Okay, a couple things here. We got... This was a company called Horizon uh, that put out some really nice uh, model kits. And if you could paint them, they would look like that. Um, and these are not super expensive. Uh, this one is $45 or best offer. Um, so we have a Horizon kit there. Um, and then, oh yeah, they, Toy Biz actually did put out these... Um, they called them Marvel Milestones. And, oh man, Black Widow is looking crazy angry there. Just crazy angry. But uh, these are not very expensive. Um, actually, we're selling them really cheap. Uh, the, they're only $10 each. Uh, these are larger scale figures. I believe they're about 7 to 8 inches tall. Um, come in these nice collector boxes. Really nice artwork. You can see the the face through the window. <laughs> so we've got uh, Black Widow here. Uh, we've got Gambit. Okay, Gambit, I guess, is $30. I don't know why. She was $10. He's $30. Uh, Sabretooth here is $20. Okay, I'm dropping everything. There's Sabretooth. That's $20. Not too bad. Okay. So I'll put this back. Um, I think that wraps up Marvel as far as Marvel toys. Um, so that's a pretty good... Oh, we have this this book, too. Uh, this was actually something that was an event we did at Toyzilla. Uh, Eric Leewald and his wife and Larry Houston, who directed the X-Men series, uh, came to our store and signed this hardcover book. Uh, there he is. And then the autographs should be somewhere inside the front cover there we go <laughs> pretty
previously on X-Men. Uh, so it, it's a really great book that talks about how the whole series was made. We've got these books for $45. We've got plates from Marvel Mania, which was a restaurant that um, used to be over at uh, Universal Studios back in the day. It didn't last very long. <laughs> get them. It's a used plate. That's the only way you can get them. Uh, used plate, but it's $10. Um, oh, we got a Maximum Carnage, um, three and a quarter inch, um, $15. And any questions for me? Because now's a great time to ask. I feel like I covered this section pretty darn well. So the only things I might have missed on the last Marvel Monday uh, really are these X Men. Uh, I guess they're Marvel Legends Toy Biz um, six inch figures. Uh, we had a Wolverine, we had a Toad, and we had a Cyclops and a Professor X uh, figure, um, $20 each. Wolverine, I guess, is 30 because he's awesome. Um, yeah, so I, I think we covered everything. Don't want to keep you guys. Thanks for uh, checking in with me again here at Toyzilla in our underground... toys here so uh, we can keep uh, the lights on um, and uh, thanks for joining us cool we'll see you uh, tomorrow for transformer Tuesday and then the rest of the week we got some awesome stuff planned thank you